What we're going to do today is Tom is going to weld a piece of very high carbon steel to a piece of mild steel. And what we're using for high carbon steel is a file. We know a file has um, about 1.7% carbon, which is very brittle. They break, they're very hard. And the theory here is we, if we can successfully weld a high carbon file to a piece of mild steel, then it would make sense that we can weld anything, any grade of steel in between there. And he's going to use a 4400 uh, AS, all steel, Vulcan's 4400 AS. And what he's going to do is he's going to lay it on this right between the file and the steel, and he's just going to lay it there and let the rod burn. Let's see what happens. Go ahead, Tom. Just lay it right down in there and just don't move it. Just let it burn itself. Lay it down more, Tom. Lay it down. Lay her down. There you go. Lay her right down there. So what we're doing here is we're showing that we can weld a very high carbon steel to mild steel, which means we can weld any steel, stainless steel, tool steel, high carbon, low carbon, medium carbon, high alloy, low alloy, any steel you can weld it. Cast steels, any carbon content of cast steels, any grade of steel, you can weld them to each other or to themselves in any combination. It's a welds all alloy, Vulcan 4400 AS very easy to show to a customer. That's good, Tommy. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to let that uh, cool down and we're going to show the uh, slag. Now, this slag releases at a certain temperature, so we want to protect the weld from the atmosphere. So, see there? Just don't, don't beat it off right away, just let it cool down and let it do its thing. What we're going to do is we're going to give this the old hammer test. We're going to try to beat that file off that piece of steel. We're going to do it in the weakest way. We're going to hit it from the back side on a vise. So we're going to beat that with a hammer, and we're just going to try to tear that thing apart. We're going to see what happens. What do you think, Tom? Lay that rod right on the material. And just lay it there. Like a jet rod. It just blows itself. All right, go ahead and try to get it off now, just for time's sake. There we go. It's got a really nice bead. Take a look at that bead there, cameraman. That was no, uh, no motion at all. No, it just... Do it's weld itself. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. All right. Now, let's take this over the vise and put the big hammer to it. Okay, Tom, uh, we've got it in the vise here, and Tom's going to start hitting it with this hammer. And what we're going to demonstrate is the weld is soft and strong and ductile, and it's everything you want. The weld has no carbon in it. It's not going to be hard. It's going to be machinable. And we're going to demonstrate that here. Okay? Start hitting her, Tom. Hold it. Let's take this off. He did break the file, but we're hanging out there. Okay, go ahead, Tom. Hold it, hold it, hold it. We've got to get it tighter in the vise. It's... All right, you're going to have to hit a little harder, Tom. Wow. <laughs> now, take a second. I want you to, to realize that what is happening is the weld is having elongation ductility. It's bending over, it's not hard, it's not cracking. Uh, it's certainly taken a punishment. And this is what happens when you weld your parts together. If you want them to stay together, you really need to use 4400 AS for all steels. And, you know, just have a little bit on hand just to, uh, when something comes up and you want to make sure it really holds. Or you don't know what it is. You just know that it's, you don't know what the steel is or it's broke before. Put this on it and see what happens. Go ahead, Tom, hit her some more. Okay, good. Well, we're just, we're just tearing up the file now. Every maintenance shop should have at least a couple pounds of this just in case for something that might break or something that has broke. 
Yes, the specialty jobs. I didn't even clean that file. The grooves were full of rust and debris, and uh, it just washed it all right out. Yeah. Uh, I'm impressed. I've never seen a, a that high carbon steel hold on like that.